Hey everybody, Tim Decker here. Do you love something that dispenses candy as much as I do? Do you love acquiring tasty candy? Sugary treats? I love candy, so today I'm gonna paint this candy dispenser. This is an M&M's World Las Vegas dispenser. I put my negotiating skills to the test to acquire it. Here's how it went. So I got this at the thrift store and I saw a sale on suitcases, buy one suitcase, get one half off. So I had an idea. I took a suitcase and this to the register and I said, excuse me, if I buy this suitcase, will you pretend this is a suitcase and give this to me for half off? And the lady looked at me like this. And I looked at her like this. She didn't say anything. And then she charged me full price for both items. So now I paid full price for this and now I have this old suitcase. I have nowhere to go. Let's go paint it. Wait, is that money? How did I know there was money in here before? How did I not hear that? How do I get into it? Nope. I bet you there's a lot of money in here. I think this could be like a kid's piggy bank, like tooth fairy money, birthday money, chores money. There's definitely paper bills in here. They like took it apart and put money in here. Graduate from kindergarten money. How do I get into it? There's a lot of money in here. Sixty cents. So I'm gonna let the primer dry. I don't want it to say this. I'm gonna take that off and I read online I should be able to use nail polish remover and a blade and take it right off. didn't work. So this whole project is dependent on me getting rid of this. So, goo gone. Let's try. So, apparently goo gone's for goo. How to remove screen printing from glass. Okay. Wrap in vinegar and leave overnight. Hmm. See you in the morning. Whew. So, I soaked it all night. Whew. Ooh, it smells so bad. It already started peeling. Now I gotta take steel wool. I'm gonna try this on. Let's see that I don't scratch glass. Nice. Let's go. It looks beautiful. Oh man, I forgot about my base last night. Are you kidding me? Don't use above 90 degrees. So I fixed all the cracks and then I waited for the temperature and humidity to be right and it cracked a second time. 
Let's not talk about it. Let's spray paint it. I got some blue vibes because I got a really cool concept. I think a blue base will be really nice. So let's get it. So it got super stormy out and then we came inside, got out of the rain and looked outside and realized it was super windy and the candy dispenser was blowing away. So I had to run out, get it, save it, brought it inside and now we lost power. So I don't think I'm gonna get much done for the rest of the day and uh, we'll have to see. Hope it comes back soon. I think the storm's kind of ending. Nope, it's not. We'll see. Time to paint the glass. I did the base. All these grooves were really hard to get into. I gotta find a way to get into those. This octopus is gonna be weaving all over the glass, jumping out of the water, as I'm gonna kinda do a loose outline and then I'm gonna paint it white so that when you see through the glass, you only see white and it looks crisp and clean. And then I'm gonna paint it and then this gumball machine is gonna be ready to dispense. Let's get it. I'm a slave for the cash, got snakes in the grass, no breaks on the head, but it's all fun. We done seen it all, heard it all. I'm done. Let's put it together.
you love a nice can piece of candy? Let's paint this candy dispenser. If you love sweet sugary sweet treats like me, then let's paint this candy dispenser. Do you love the ability to put a quarter into a dispenser and get a piece of candy? If you love sweet sugary sweets like I do, let's paint this candy dispenser. Hey everybody, do you love candy as much as I do? Let's get sticky and customize this candy dispenser. Hey everybody, Tim Decker here, and I love candy. Do you? Hey everybody, Tim Decker here, and I like candy. I like to dispense candy. So today, I'm gonna customize this candy dispenser.